well-wished children, welcome to our Sunday worship. Today's worship is about being peaceful. And today we will learn what it means to be peaceful. So let's turn on our candle for the presence of God and the Holy Spirit. Today is June 20, the third Sunday of June. And this is the day that the Lord has made, let us rejoice and be glad in it. And let's begin our worship on being peaceful. Today, we learn how to be peaceful through Psalm 23. Bless our worship today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The faith word for June is peace. And peace means living together in harmony without fighting. And also to be calm and know God's presence. The Bible verse for June is Matthew 5 9. It says, Happy are people who make peace because they will be called God's children. Let us confess our faith. I believe in God the Father, maker of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ our Lord, who crucified, died, and rose from the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Bible verse for today is from Psalm 23. It begins with, The Lord is my shepherd. So I'm going to read from your Bible. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He lets me rest in grassy meadows. He leads me restful waters. He keeps me alive. 
He guides me in proper paths for the sake of his good name. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no danger because for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they protect me. You set a table for me in front of my enemies. You bathe my head in oil. My cup is so full, it spills over. Yes, goodness and faithful love will pursue me all the days of my life. And I will be in the Lord's house as long as I live. All right. Our video also is about be peaceful. So let's watch. Hi friends, I'm Samuel. Let's wonder, what do you think of when you hear the Lord is my shepherd? I've heard this Bible passage so often, but I didn't really know what it meant. I know that a shepherd has sheep, but what does that have to do with the Lord? I learned that kings and other leaders during biblical times are sometimes called shepherds. This didn't mean that they actually owned sheep. But the leaders cared for their people like shepherds care for their sheep. It's a shepherd's job to keep them safe. When I say the Lord is my shepherd, it reminds me that God is always with me and that I can find comfort in God. God's comfort can bring peace, even in the scariest situations. Then the Bible says, even when I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no danger because you are with me. Wait, why is a valley even dangerous? Well, sometimes mountains can block the sun from shining in a valley. Valleys can feel dark and scary because it's harder to see. When someone is talking about a valley, Sometimes they mean hard times. The writer reminds us that even in hard situations, God is with us. Our valleys might look like having a hard time in school, being afraid of doing something new, or being in a situation that is confusing. They can look like so many different things, but regardless of what they look like, God is with us. When I find myself in a valley, I say to myself, the Lord is my shepherd. This reminds me that it doesn't matter what's going on around me. God is always with me. God might look like a friend offering to help me or a hug from a family member or a reminder that I'm gonna be okay. However it looks, God shows up in all of my hard times to help me find peace. We will all go through hard times, but it's nice to know that God is always with us and is our shepherd. Now it's time for you to wonder. All right, children. I remember God is with us in hard time. And do you see this dark valley? The video said dark valley means our hard time like schoolwork is hard or had a fight with a friends or anything that keeps us in the dark and keeps us from having the light from God that is the valley that is the darkest valley but we also know God gives us peace we know this by heart. Peace is to be calm and know God's presence. So as video says, when we walk through the darkest valley, we can say, Lord, you are my shepherd. Please keep me safe. Keep me go through this dark valley. We can do that. So I am asking you who is my shepherd our shepherd is our god we are like god's little sheep so god will take care of us just like a shepherd takes care of his sheep all right 
So there is another spiritual practice today that I want to do. Let's see if you can visualize the psalm in our minds. So I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and I will read the Psalm 23 again aloud from the Bible very slowly this time. When I finish reading, everyone can open your eyes. Okay, are you ready? The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He lets me rest in grassy meadows. He leads me restful waters. He guides me in proper paths for the sake of his good name. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no danger because for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they protect me. You set a table for me in front of my enemies. You bathe my head in oil. My cup it's so full, it spills over. Yes, goodness and faithful love will pursue me all the days of my life. And I will be in the Lord's house as long as I live. Now you can open your eyes and let's wander together. So how did you feel? How did you imagine the psalm? Can you imagine each sentence in your mind when I read? How do you feel after listening to the psalm? You pause and think about it. Is God my shepherd? Yes. All right, let's pray. God, thank you for your presence, which brings us peace and comfort. We pray that each person here will know the peace the psalmist felt each and every day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And now it is time for our response with the offering. So let us pray for the offering. Dear God, thank you for our worship. We brought gifts to you. Bless them and accept them. May they be used in your good ministry through our church. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And the blessing today is Jesus gives you peace. So wish your children, Jesus gives you peace. All right, let's conclude our worship with Lord's Prayer, and we can do this in sign language. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us as we forgive those who sin against us, but lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. All right, children, our worship is over. And... Um, after next Sunday and Wednesday is our first day of VBS. So I'll see you, everybody, at the VBS. And until next Sunday, be good and be safe. All right, children. See you next week. Bye.